You know, when your dancing butterfly spins round like this, you've got to think there must be something else you can do with that mechanism. Let's take one apart and see what they're like inside. If I can get it out the box. Okay, we've got the stick for going in the ground. Which might be useful for something. butterfly on a springy bit of wire. And we got the bit that I'm really interested in, the solar panel and the electric motor. Right, what I want to do is try and ease the panel out of the plastic case because there's a couple of screws behind it that I need to undo but I don't want to break the panel it's hot glued in place of course there we go, I think that's loosened the plastic that's the two screws we need to get undone motor is just a push fit inside there. I need to try and push the motor through. So it's just a push fit but it's a tight push fit. So there we are. That's our little electric motor that runs off that solar panel. To be honest, I'm a little bit disappointed. I was rather hoping there might be some fancy circuitry in there to boost the power coming out of the cell. But obviously not. Right, I want to try and make a solar powered car out of this. So I've had a look through me bits and pieces. Got some wheels from an old toy car. That one's got a gear on it, which is handy. And I've also found a little worm gear that goes with it. And that just happens to be the right size to go on that shaft. And a bit of a push. So I should be able to drive that gear with it. I've also found another one of these with the solar panel. So I think I might double up the solar panels to try and give a bit more power. Got this plastic box. And I think I'll use that as the chassis for the car. Unfortunately, it's a bit too wide for those axles, so I'm going to have to put new axles on. But that might do. Might be able to mount the motor on there. Something like that. And get two solar panels on top of it. And see if we can actually drive it. That's handy. Managed to find a piece of wire that was just the right thickness. So I can make a wider axle. Looks about right. Need to do the front axle now. All up together. So we've got the motor with the worm gear driving the back axle. I've extended the wires and I've used both of those solar panels. There's even a bit of adjustment there for catching the sun. All I need to do now is find some sun, or a nice bright 
shiny spotlight. Had a bit of trouble finding a suitable spotlight. I've changed all my bulbs out for low energy bulbs. I've found one that's reasonably bright, so we'll give it a try. Well, that seems to work. What we really need is a bright sunny day. But in the meantime, we'll do a summary. So, what have we got? We've got electric motor out of the solar butterfly stick ornament. I've cheated slightly because I've actually got two solar panels because um, I've got a couple of these already. So, I don't know if it needed to, but I thought I might as well use them anyway. The gears and the wheels have come out of an old toy car that's disappeared in the past. Um, had to put different axles on because they weren't wide enough to go through this little plastic box that these paper clips came in. And uh, that's it. Nice little solar powered car. All we need now is a bright sunny day to try it out outside. But that'll do. Job done.